Alright, welcome back to Needle Dexter. So on the last um, walkthrough, we did the right side of the, the whole town. This time, we're going to do the whole left side. So, talking to everyone, um, I'm just going to check my lineup. I'm just going to switch some around. I feel like I'm going to use... Luxio soon. I really want to and then There's really nothing you can do in the wardrobe store So we're just going to get out of there and keep going This is a little cafe All right, so let's talk to the people see if anybody will give us any gifts They're just talking about eating and snacks so we know from our last visit to the cafe shops that the main um, owner will fight you once a day right so let's go fight him do you want to battle I say yes all right let's see how we do cafe master has a slurp of okay and an alchemy so I'm not sure if the intimidate will be good or not I don't know if they're physical or if they are special but I'm gonna razor leave and let's see how much double kick does actually that was a mistake because Oh, there goes Thaki. They double into him. I just realized fighting is not going to do very good against the uh, fairy type. That was my fault. My mistake. Oh my god, they're level 37. I just realized they're level 37. All of my Pokemon are level 29. So I am in a bit of a disadvantage here. I'm just gonna make sure that I slow them down with Rock Tomb. So I'm gonna target Alchemy first and I'm gonna switch into Spark. So hopefully... Okay, that slowed them down. Hopefully I do enough damage. Okay. Energy Ball! I didn't know I had energy ball. And then after me it um, attracts. Alright, so I'm gonna target one of each. Honestly, now I regret it because I do want to slow down Slurpuff, but I think it's slow enough already. And uh, Spark is not going to do enough damage to kill Alchemy. Oh, but they, they didn't double into me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, I mean, it was useless. Lycanroc goes down, unfortunately. So I'm going to go into Charmeleon here. Now, I don't think they will do enough damage to KO either one. So I'm going to take this moment to uh, revive my fainted Pokemon. Because I want all of them to get experience. So now I'll have all of my Pokemon revived. And I'm just going to cross my fingers that they survive. So it goes helping hand and a track. Okay, so it totally was a waste of a turn because helping hand did nothing from a non-damaging move. I'm gonna slash Alchemy. Hopefully that's enough to KO. And I'm gonna switch out Luxio. I'm gonna switch him into uh, Marsh Tom because I honestly don't think you'll energy ball into an electric type. 
I doubt it. Helping hand, okay. And slash goes in. It does not KO. Alright, so I feel like they're gonna target Marsh Tomp. So I'm gonna switch out Charmeleon into Luxio and protect. I'm positive they'll try to energy ball into Marsh Top. And that gives me a free switch in, hopefully. So we know Intimidate is really not doing us any uh, good here, but I think uh, Luxio will really put in the most damage. Magical Leave, yep. And energy ball. Perfect. See, when I said protect would come in handy, this is what I meant. This is exactly what I meant. So I'm gonna get a free spark into Alchemy, and I'm just gonna switch out Marsh Top. Um, possibly doing another Energy Ball in this slot, so it shouldn't do too much damage to Corvus Squire. I'm just predicting here, but again, it's the game, so they might do something that doesn't make sense. So we take down Alchemy. Everyone levels up. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Takedown. Nope. I'm gonna keep my old moves. I don't like takedown. Roar. Roar actually comes in handy if, um, you know, someone powers up way too much. You can roar them out and reset all their power ups. I definitely need Howl for self, you know, setup. And then I do have two dark type attacks, Sucker Punch and Bite, which I'm going to keep Sucker Punch just for the sake of coverage. And uh, I got my Rock Tomb. So now we want to learn Flamethrower. This is perfect. Ember is too weak and we needed a strong special attack for Charmeleon with Stab. Ooh. It takes down Luxio. Well, this cannot be. This cannot be. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring Marsh Tomp again. This is gonna be like my decoy. We know that uh, they're most likely going to target it, so we're gonna protect. And I'm gonna use this to revive my Luxio. All right, so we got all of our Pokemon back. Marsh Tomp. Yep. See? They really want to hit Marsh Tomp with Energy Ball. Because it's four times weak to um, grass. So what I'm going to do now, because you, I, I'm not going to risk double protecting. It, it, it has a really high likely uh, chance of failing. So I'm going to switch into Charmeleon, expecting that energy ball, and it shouldn't be effective. Charmeleon comes in, Pluck connects, okay, it does damage, not effective, beautiful, and the reason that I'm not powering up right now, 2 versus 1, I just want to end this. So I'm gonna go with uh, Flamethrower, which is our strongest move. I accidentally pressed B. <laughs> Let me try again. And I'm gonna pluck. Because we, we, we want to get rid of this Slurpuff as fast as possible. It connects, and pluck goes in for the kill. Perfect. We had slowed it down already, so I wasn't worried about speed. Perfect. Luxia wants to learn Bolt Switch, but that's a special attack, which is not good for us. So I'm just gonna say no. The current, the current setup I have is fine. 
So we defeat Bernard even even though he had level 37 Pokemon. Ooh, Luxio. And we finally get a Luxray. I cannot wait to use them in battle. I cannot wait. Luxray is one of my favorites. I cannot wait. So now we have two fully evolved Pokemon. We have the Lycanroc and we have the Luxray. So I'm just gonna go to the Pokemon Center in a hurry just in case we catch another battle. I really don't want to get stuck with uh, damaged Pokemon like that. Yeah, I got two fully evolved Pokemon. Alright, let's go back to where we left off. <clears throat> and now so we got a super repel let's go talk to these people over here playing with the Noivat it doesn't look like they give us anything but there's this item two hyper potions They're not giving us anything, that's okay. So now we cross over, but... We have a second Pokemon Center over here. Now so that the Corviknight Taxi can fly you here, you have to use it at least once to register. That way your map will remember that you could fly here. And um, everyone's telling me to go to Route 6 and go to Stow to Side. So we're going to go ahead and heal here even though I don't need to heal again. Man, I can't wait till my team is fully evolved. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rock. There's an item over here. We got two X attacks. We have a little park over here. An item. Muscle band. So this muscle band will come in handy once I start getting back into competitive as it boosts physical attacks. But right now, I feel okay with the items they have on hand. Yeah, and Focus Ash, I'm definitely going to save that. <laughs> he chooses this squishy. This person wants a Toxel for a Togepi. So if you really want a Togepi, this is where you get one. So there's Ryan. Ryan's on his cell phone, he doesn't remember our name. So he makes it very clear that before you challenge him, you have to get seven badges. Therefore, he would be the very last gym. Alright, so we enter the museum. We have authority to be in here now. Ryan is is all in on giving us the league card, even though we cannot challenge him. Alright, so will this person give us anything over here? 
says you need permission to enter the vault, but I got my permission, so. Hemlock, da da da. Okay. So let's go upstairs to this vault. Alright, I saw something over here. Okay, it's a TM charm. Another great move. Okay, so we've entered the vault and Sonia is right there. What will she discover or tell us? So Galar history, two youths watching the wishing star, and then a disaster occurs. They're looking for the sword and shield to stop the disaster. And then they end up being crowned. Notice how one is blue, one is red. So what sticks out the most? That there's two heroes. Because all along they talked about one hero even though there's two. Therefore... There's two heroes instead of one. So that's the amazing discovery. That there was two heroes instead of one. And she gives us two revives. Alright, I don't see anything else. No items, nothing. So we'll get out of here. Nice little short cutscene. So we have... Ryan thinks that Leon is the hero for Galar because he's the champion so we have to go to route 6 continue the journey see what's next all right so what will this person do heard of a rumor I have okay have you heard the rumor no I haven't the rumor has it if you give one Da -da -da, da -da -da. So this person is searching for an Applin. I don't have one, so when I catch one, I will come and give him one. Um, I believe he'll give you one of the apples you need to evolve Applin. So there you go. So Grass Pledge, even though it's strong, it's a special attack, and my Thaki is not a special attacker at all. So I'm not going to take it. Now let's go look at Charmeleon, which is eligible for this pledge. It's 80, special attack, flamethrower is 90. So we just learned flamethrower, and we're going to keep flamethrower. All right. Yeah, I don't think um, it's it's worth taking the pledge right now. Although rumor has it, if you haven't tried it yet, that using water pledge together, two at the same time, has an additional effect. But anyways, uh, we reach Route 6, which we'll explore on the next uh, video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.